Yo, what's going on YouTube and welcome to Goal Line Hockey. It's your boy Kevin Forte and we are taking a look at the brand new Vancouver Canucks goaltender Braden Holpe causing a little bit of controversy over his new mask. We're going to be taking a look at that in this video. If you like what we're doing here at Goal Line Hockey, want to see the latest news around the NHL guys, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and a subscribe down below and let's take a look at Braden Holpe's new mask. Former Washington Capitals goaltender Braden Holpe has not even played a game yet for the Vancouver Canucks, and he's already drawing a little bit of controversy before he even played a game with them. We're going to be taking a look at why in this video. But before we get into that, guys, want to give a quick plug to our Instagram and Twitter handles at goalline underscore hockey. The links will be in the description down below. So with that out of the way, guys, let's take a look at Braden Hopi causing a little bit of controversy. He apologize, he issues an apology uh, for his Canucks mask after a First Nations criticism. Now, looking at this article from NHL.com, Braden Hopi issued an apology on Saturday after images of his new goalie mask for the Canucks, which featured an indigenous Thunderbird and was designed by a Swedish artist, sparked calls of cultural appropriation. I wanted to make sure I apologize to anyone I offended. Hope he said in an interview with CTV, it was definitely not my intent and I definitely learned a valuable lesson through this all and will make sure I'm better moving forward and do things that help this community the most. Image of the mask was first shared on social media. Uh, Dave Gunnarsson was the creator of the mask uh, who designs the mask for many NHL goalies. In addition to the image of the Thunderbird, the social media post included the phrase Thunderbird, the Northwest Coast indigenous myth. Immediately, thoughts of cultural appropriation come up. Uh, let's take a look. When we see the mask, although looking brilliant, one of the first questions you ask is, who made it? Hopi is entering his first season with the Canucks after signing a two-year, $8.6 million deal with the Canucks back in October. The goal, and still, the goal was and still is to include indigenous artists and try and pick their brain to see how well, uh, uh, see how they would design a mask to better represent the history and culture around this area, especially because it's so vast. Uh, there is an indigenous artist who told uh, CTV News Gunnarsson's removal of the social media post was a step in the right direction and said Hopi working in, with an indigenous artist on the new design would be even more impactful. He clearly likes indigenous art. That's why he has chosen that style of work. Definitely collaboration with an indigenous artist would be huge. How great would that be for indigenous people to be represented in an organization like the NHL? I mean, I think it's a little bit much, um, but obviously listen you can't control what people are offended and not offended by uh i think it's you know i think it's gotten to the point where brain hopi's wife actually had to take down her twitter it got so bad uh which i just don't think is completely fair especially to her because she didn't do anything wrong and even brain hopi i don't think he realized you know because the thing is a lot of these guys have their guy that makes masks for them and the fact that that even came up about who made it or whatever I, i'm not going to sit here and, and pick a side because truthfully i don't really understand it so i'm not going to sit here and say i know all this and that i i think that's an honest mistake by brain hopi i hope the fan base is you know okay with him i think the second he starts winning games and getting shutouts for the canucks i think they'll kind of breeze over this one um but i think this is obviously it meant a lot to the canucks and the indigenous people there uh in vancouver but if we are going to see a thunderbird or mythical creatures on the mask i think that's really cool and i think whatever mask brain hopi ends up creating with this indigenous artist i think it will be a cool design especially with all the architecture and the totems they have out there in vancouver out in british columbia i think this is going to be a really cool mask so this mask was probably pretty cool, but I think the next one will be even better. So guys, let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Do you think there's a bit of an overblow by the Vancouver Canucks fan base? Or do you think uh, there is some legitimacy to this? Obviously, keep it clean in the comment section, guys, because there's no need for this craziness. It's just a mask. Um, but it seems like he's made the corrections he's needed to make since then. So no real issue there. So guys, let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. And if you like what we're doing here at Goal Line Hockey, want to see the latest news around the NHL, guys, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe down below. Thank you so much for watching, and let's go Canucks.